Draga nam je da smo posle drugog vremena opet na okupu da se ponovo zbušimo i da nastavimo tamo gdje smo stali pre u godinu. Thank you for coming out to our concert tonight. After many years, we are very excited to be back and celebrating together. Please help me in welcoming our guests who will be joining us in tonight's program, Choir St. Stefan from Ottawa and Choir Roman Nelot from Kitchener. Kao što znate da naš hor, Sveti Sava, učestvuje u nedeljnoj svetoj službi kao rekao koji hor, skoro svih 52 nedelje. Mi se ponosimo time i nadamo se da su naši sveštenici izuzetno zadovoljni našim doprinom. A da li je to tako, to će nam možda neki najbolje reći nas, naš dragi otac Zeja. Poštovani oče Vojko, dragi predsjedniče, svi predsjednici ovdje pora i svi gosti i rada naši sestre. Neko vas bol blagoslovi što ste večeras došli da podržite sve naše polove koji će večeras ovdje učestvovati, a naročito naš polov Svetoga Save ovdje u našem kramu i u Savora Srba Svetitelja u Misisavi. Mi smo uvek u blagodani Bogu da imamo hor koji može da odgovara i da peva, ne samo na liturgijama, nego na bilo kojem bolosku želju. I znamo uvek iz naše vere, koja nam je velika, koja nam to pokazuje, da svako ko peva Bogu, da ga Bog za to nagrađuje. Moram podeliti sa vama večeras dva događaja koja su se dogodila na Svetu Gori, i koja se dogodila u Cajinari. Jedna se dogodila na Svetoj gori kod Jovana Katakuze. Kaže kada je bio Atakis i kada su pevali, kada je Jovan Katakuze pevao i pevajući pogodnici, on je zaspao. Dok je spavao, javilo mu se presite pogodnice i kazao da samo ne pevaj, ja te nikada neću ostaviti. U ruku mu je stavila zlatu. Kada se on probudio, našao je zlatu u ruci. Kao što vidimo, presveta pogornica je drago svako naše pojednje, naše pevanje i slavljivo. Drugi događaj se dogodio od Georgija, arhijepiskopa Aleksandrijskog, kada je otpevao o tebi radnice kada je otpevao pesmu umesto dostojno, ali drugi ispoda Vasilija, o tebi je radijecija, isto mu se javila pesta govorica, gdje mu je da je opet darivala se zlatu. Normalno, nama nisu potrebni zlatnici i nama je bitno da mu je govorica pokazala da nas uša, da nas Bog sluša, da nikad nas neće ostaviti. Još jedan put nekada nas Bog vam ostavi. Hvala vam puno što vam pevate i u crkvi, i što pevate, sve održavate u našu tradiciju koju su svi naši porovi održavali. Vas Bog odnosno i hvala vam što je. I would now like to welcome the president of St. Sava Choir to the podium to say a few words. Everyone, I present to you the one and only John Yovan Lukic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oče Dejane, oče Zlati Bor, Roj Korhorska i Roman Melod iz Kičinera, naši počasni gosti Bor Sveti Stefan iz Vladove i svi vi, dragi gosti, prijatelji Bor Sveti Sada. Kao prezrednik Bora, zadovoljstvo mi je da vam poželim dobrodošljice na naš 68. godišnji jeseni koncert. Ovo je naš prvi koncert posle 26. oktobera 2019. pre četiri godine i predstavlja naš pozredni korak na povratku u normalnost nakon pandemije, koja je nas sve dolakla na mnogo način. The pandemic effectively suspended all our choir activities for about two years. When we started to respond to Holy Liturgies with a small group of singers back in 2022, a week after Easter, about half of our participating choir members contracted COVID. 
We all survived, but that delayed our return to service yet again. Until finally, in September of 2022, we started singing regular responses to the Holy Liturgies in our beautiful church. We continue our commitment to this day, as this is our most important goal in this Mississauga community. As you can appreciate, we are excited to be here tonight to celebrate life through song. Nashi Preya Teli Horspeti Roman Melod, Ispichinera, Subecheras Ovde, Nastupit Zavas. Uve kuživamo u njihovom društvu, a vi ćete sigurno uživati u njihovom drvačkom nastupu. We look forward to spending time with our new friends, the St. Stephen Choir of Ottawa, who are visiting us for the first time. Thank you for accepting our invitation. I hope you feel at home here and enjoy your time amongst your fellow choir singers. Our choir is part of this community, and without your support, Tonight's event would not be possible. Thank you to all of our event sponsors for your donation of time, goods, and our money in support of our choir. Many thanks goes to the St. Sock Choir members under the capable lead, sorry, page, capable lead of our chairperson and first vice president, Alex Lukic, we call him Mighty Alex Lukic, for working so hard to make this evening a success. And as well as the rest of my choir, executive board, and Rada Micic, and a recording for being tonight's master of ceremony. Last but not least, a big thank you goes to Ivana Lukic for preparing our choir for tonight's performance. Now, relax, enjoy our show, and remember, Ko Bela Zlov Nemisi. Viva! Ako niste znali, naš hor, Sveti Sanger, je jedan od najstarijih horova, kao što reče predsjednik, sporo 70 godina. Učestvovali smo na mnogo festivala, gotovali na mnogim mestima i stalno obogačivali i zadušavali naše pevare. Imali smo nekoliko dugogodišnjih dirigenata koji su ostavili duboke stragove svoga rada. Pre korone sa nama je bio i gospodin Janec Bogatik, kome se zahvaljujemo ovim putem na dvogodišnjem radu. Iako nije večera sa nama i dokladanih razloga, mi i dalje računamo na njegovu saradnju. Last year, as John mentioned, we started rehearsal again with our wonderful conductor, Ivana Lukic. We are very grateful for her continued dedication and passion. We also want to thank our liturgy conductors, John Lukic and Miloš Kostic, and now we would like to welcome the choir Sveti Sava, led by Ivana Lukic. We will be singing the following. Dostojno jest Kornelija Stankovic, Gospodi Uslišli, Avangelski, Dun Tevetri, Dagodi Njenko, World War I Medli, and the poem Cerska Bitka by Rada Micic. Dostojno jest
Jedan vrat Petra je prošao, drugi je za letno došao, uđen je za tren, kao neka sen iz mrkog braka, prekinuo letinu i pesu devojaka. A nije teško da ste ljaka i džaka, da pravo dionaka iz veselja i pola devojaka, latice ušaka. Borac svaki nema pušku u te, a nosi srce planjene. Borče, drži steg, uđin će u beg se brzo dati, ponovo će sunce srbivo vasljati. Novi onaka polje pine te, tu se čuje sve do udaljine. Pucaj, momče, majka, ti ne blaka. Jer je kuća svaka dala ceru po jednog onaka, oca, sina, brata. Na cer krenite s nagom svom, znajte, vi branite rog i dom. Čuda pokri to, da je vidiš ti to iz sada, od onaka, koji je oganiš koga nose od svojih predaka. U boj krenite junaci svi, krenite i ne žalite život svoj. Cer nek čuje stroj, cer nek vidi boj, a reka drina slavu i hrabrost i junačku ruku oca, sina. Napred, Bože, brani svoju zemlju, ne daj, nikom ne daj za nju uvek rado život predaj, ali je nikom ne daj. Boj, krino, boj u godo hladnja, pan ti kadri svoj, koji je pun ognja i čudesne snage, protera od kući nas naše reke drage. Boj, Oj, Drino, pričaj rodu kako smo se hrabro borili. Evo je stroj, bojamo se po ovoj kraj hladne vode, krv je tekla, krv se lila Drinom, bog slobode.
potrebno da se naprežu, jer kod njih je sve realno, pa i ako pored je pogrešen, neće se mnogo primetiti, a pogotovo kada to brani trebaju svoje pitote i dolove koje pomakati srljavima u pasu. Zato, ako voli više dva sekciju, jer su oni njihovi zaštitnici i sa njima dolazi više do nitrožnosti. A što se tiče tenora, oni su mnogo razmašni. Zaista, obično, njih nikada nema dovoljno, pa je vada zato svaki dirigent posebno nakladen i popustu prema njima, jer se boje da neki od njih ne odustanu i na ovu izvore. A nije lako biti tenor, jer često moraju da odpevaju neke visoke vokale, pa se to pretvori u čudno svinjenje, verovatno ste primetili kako imaju potovo pomisli izra žica sa podignutim obrvama i naboranim čelom od silnog napredanja da opevaju visoki E ili još neći E. Zato pasovi ponekad smevaju tenore i smatraju da muškarci koji pevaju, koji mogu opevati tako visoke vokale i nisi pravi muškarci i da mora da tu postoji neka greška. Pasovi se naročito šepure svojim zubokim i paritom glasovima i misle da svi treba da padno na kolena pred njim. Eto, sada shvatate zašto zbog obično udjeva sa pevačima. Najzle, izgleda svi sve lako, ali pevanje u kvoru je prava umetnost. Jer jedin kvora je kao vrhnosti slika, koji svojom četkicom oblikava najlepšu pravovim polja, a u ovom slučaju da složi sve te vokale u jednu predivnu sredinu. Sve u svemu, nema je to dužina. Iako vas nisam pokolebao, a nadam se da nisam, jer sve ovo je samo malo šale na što se račun, mi se fantastično slažemo i dušimo i dišemo kao jedan, pomažemo jedni druge, jednom riječju, volimo se. Pa ako neko od vas ima želju i sluha da peva i voli i volje da uči i vežba se nama, pridružite nam dođite, postanite i vi deo ove predivne družine zvane Bo. Jednom pevač, za ovaj pevač, jer ko peva, ko ne misli. Eto, volite, zamislite, vas ovde sa nama, bit će i nama veliko zadovoljstvo. Now to sum up this wonderful humorous story that Abed has told us, I have sung this up into a few lines in English, not my original thoughts. Okay, director. There was a mistake. Sopranos. It was the altos. Altos. It was us. Tenors. There was a mistake. Basses. What page are we on? All of the fun. All of you guys. <laughs> okay. Moving along with our program. Uh, we are very delighted. Uh, to welcome St. Stephen Choir from Ottawa, a choir that we've had the pleasure of visiting and are honored to have with us tonight. The St. Stephen Serbian Orthodox Church Choir has been led by the gifted and devoted choir director Elias Dubovsen since 2014. Throughout various concerts, fundraisers, as well as community involvement, the choir serves as an ambassador of our faith and culture. Tonight, they will be singing the following pieces. Blagoslovi, Ivano, Pritikje, Trubače, Prisagion, Krasnocovski, Aleluja, Šihan, Tebje Koje, Rimski Korsako, and Dostojno Jes, Osorgine Ketro. Please welcome, Saint Stefan Meyer. Blagoslovi, Duše moja Gospoda, Blagoslovi,
very much for having us. This is our first trip to Toronto and Mississauga with the St. Stephen Choir. So when we were approached about coming down here and singing for you, uh, the, the, it, was, it was a very open introduction. And I thought, well, what are we going to do? So we could come down to Mississauga, we could sing Makranyans, we could sing Stankovic. Um, or we could do something completely different. <clears throat> Obviously, we're going to do something completely different. Um, I want to go on a, we have a two-part concert tonight. I want to go on a musical journey. Uh, we'll call it East Meets West. So we just heard uh, the Bligas de Vida Shomai Gospoda by Ipolito Vivano. Uh, a lot of our composers that we're going to sing from the first half uh, started at St. Petersburg Conservatory uh, and then worked their way around the world. So this first composer, he started off in St. Petersburg and then he went to Georgia and then he went to Armenia and then he went to Turkey and kind of toured around. So the, this next piece uh, is by Sigi Pubachov, who was actually an Orthodox deacon had a little bit of musical training, but really only started writing later on in his life. Uh, and this is the easy. <laughs> Yeah. 
So we've now sampled a small portion of composers from the St. Petersburg Conservatory, and a lot of them have just one thing in common. They all studied with Rimsky Korsakov. Now, Rimsky Korsakov is one of the big five, as we know, some of us know, and uh, he has a very interesting life because he actually was not interested in music. He had a loose interest in music, but for the most part, he was interested in literature. He came from a family of politicians and naval officers, and he joined the Navy. And uh, I think it was Balakita that encouraged him to pursue music. And so while he was on a boat touring the world, he bought himself a piano and brought it around to the boat. And he would write pieces of symphonies, and as he would make port, he would send it back to St. Petersburg to have it ripped apart by the other composers. And when he got back, uh, he was very frustrated. And so he actually gave up writing completely. And then some other <coughs> composers got together with him, Mr. Balakadev and Tchaikovsky, I believe, and encouraged him to start writing again. And so he took three years and basically taught himself music. He taught himself uh, Western compositional styles, uh, and he basically became an expert. Uh, to the point where they started naming him the director of the conservatories in St. Petersburg and Moscow. Um, and he had a lot of students and he made a huge impact on a lot of composers that we know today. So this is Rinsky Kostikov's Tidia Payam. like to start traveling outside towards Europe. And we heard a little sample of this earlier today when the joint choir sang Kedrov's Kochimash. So this is Kedrov, the son, who traveled also, who studied in, in, in St. Petersburg Conservatory, I believe, and then they fled uh, with the family to Paris, and they settled in Paris. Um, and there they had the Kedrov men's choir, and the son eventually took over, Kedrov Jr. And he arranged a lot of music uh, from, from chant that used to be sung just passed down by ear, either through monasteries um, or, or just 
those that ended up fleeing the Soviet Union at the time, because of course, church singing was prohibited. And so they recorded a lot of these chants and a lot of these uh, works, compositions, with uh, through what's called the London Dwayne. Uh, and this was, that's why in the program you see there are two names written for, for this particular arrangement. Uh, Sorkin, who was the publisher of the book, and Kedra, who also did the arrangement for Sorkin. So this is the melody of Saad Kilbert, with the text to the Spoonies. <laughs>
gentlemen, we are honored to have with us tonight the talented voices of St. Roman Mello Choir from Kitchener, conducted by Vida Vezich. We are very grateful to welcome our longtime friends as they sing the following pieces. Siaki Boja, Onakina Denisova, Diana Maria, Anton Visco, Georgia Naruna Pesma, Splat Piasama, and Moma Dubraka Dina Polish.
I da pozdravimo naše drage goste iz Lotave, kor Sveti Stefan.
composer and conductor of the Sonoma Choir. Um, and his son also as well was conductor of the Sonoma Choir in New York City, uh, the, the Church of the Sign uh, in downtown Manhattan. Uh, and his name is Boris Mikhailovich Gitkowski. So the first piece we're going to do of his is the uh, piece from the Polydeus, from the Mass, from the Pujinia service. And this is Kowalice Inge Kuspo.
gentlemen, that wraps up tonight's program. It's been a soulful evening, to say the least, and we are so grateful to get the opportunity to celebrate music and community with all of you.